All right, so here is our example. This is my helper, Eden. Say hi. Hi. So the thing that we want to look at here is this is us. This is our lives. Uh, and, and this is God. And one of the things that we're always looking at when we come to know Christ or we start to think about good and bad is, is how we're changing and how we're transforming. And one of the things we always try to do is subtract. And, and in some sense, that's a really good thing. But as much as I can try to get this red out of here, it doesn't actually come out. Hey, it doesn't actually come out. So one of the things I need to do, far beyond just saying, you know, at best, at best, I can take out a little bit, and there's a little bit less. I can maybe get a little bit more out, but the problem is that's still red. That gunk's still in there. So one of the things we need to see is as much as there's God and there's me in my life, I can know about the existence of Him. I can know that we have infinite grace, infinite love, infinite wisdom, mercy, all there. And I can know about it, I can talk about it, I can even share about it. And I can even experience some of that from people that are around me. But unless I'm actually in alignment with this, it doesn't do anything different. And one of the things we really need to transform in our thinking is that I need to change this by trying to get red out versus finding myself in alignment with God. And what happens at a point of conversion is you can have a moment where all of a sudden there's an infilling that's there. But the problem is there can still be that sin nature. And this is what we've been talking about, going from a 1.0 to a 2.0 living, that we're so transformed from the inside. So again, it's not a matter of me just trying to get more gunk out, but finding myself more and more and more in alignment with God. And as he continues to fill my life, and as I begin to overflow in this circumstance, that what's actually in here begins to look different. And obviously I use a lot of food coloring, so it's gonna take a while. But the transformation, the cleanliness of me, the, the, what's happening in the renewing of the spirit of my mind and bringing in that life of God has not to do with me trying to pull stuff out, but rather the more and more he fills me, the more and more I'm transformed. And we can continue to let this go and you'd see over time that this is going to become more like the one who's filling me. I'm going to be better in my life, in my representation of Christ, the more that I have him pouring into my life as I'm being purified. So again, the encouragement here isn't to change by forcing to get this stuff out, but rather in infilling and in alignment with God's Spirit and allowing the Holy Spirit to actually do that transforming work in my life. And it's there, yeah, it's almost clear. So my encouragement in this is, are you finding yourself aligned with the one who's going to infill you versus going, I shouldn't be doing this and I shouldn't be doing that? Absolutely, we want to see that we're not doing those things. But again, it is changing whether we are the kinds of people who reflect that work of God in our lives. So parents, this is another great experiment you can do with your kids as well to show this outpouring, this alignment of God. Perfect. Now we look like Jesus, right? All right. Okay, can you ask Gabriel to go shut that off? Hey girls, how are you doing? Yeah. Just filming a little video.